Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will be covering how to trace out a Chinese letter. So let's begin. First, I have a an Illustrator document open. It's eight and a half by eleven inches. Uh, I have my toolbar open. I have my layers palette open. I have my pen tool out, and I pulled that off. Um, I'm not going to need my character palette, but I will for other exercises coming up. I have my transform, uh, my Pathfinder palette open. And if you don't know where to find that at, you can find it up under Window and Pathfinder. Okay? And that will bring that open. I also have my color palette, my gradient, my stroke. Uh, but we won't be using these for this, for this exercise. We'll just be using a fill. Okay? So let's begin. And I'm going to first, I have I will be uh, uploading uh, two pages of Chinese symbols, and you will actually have to uh, download both of them and figure out which one you want to trace. So I'm going to place, I guess I'll place the second set of symbols. I saw something in there earlier that I was wanting to trace. We're going to, uh, so I, I go to File and Place. I'm going to pick this page. You can pick the other one if you choose to. And I'm going to check the word template. And we're going to place it. Okay? So this will place it in as our template. Now, you may have learned this in another class. I know I was teaching this to my digital illustration class uh, at the first of the quarter. So anyway, let me see here. I know this is the one I traced out that's on our assignment sheet, but I thought I would trace out another one. I thought this humble one was kind of interesting. So I'm actually going to unlock my template layer for just a second, and we'll drag this over here, right there, okay? And then we'll relock it, okay? And by the way, if in case you haven't had an instructor go over this with you, uh, what I've done was when I created a template, uh, it creates this template layer, and you see it's checked to temple, the template. Well, if you uncheck it, it'll just be a placed image. Just wanted to show you that, okay? And so I'm going to actually click that again. Now, the other thing that goes on is when you click template, it dims the image. And if you need to dim it more, you can double click your layer, okay? And I'm going to dim it maybe down to 40%. There we go. So it's a little easier to see sometimes, okay? So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to trace out this symbol here, and I'm going to use the pen tool. And we need to be on layer one, okay? And so let's trace this out. We'll start off. Now, what I'm going to do is, I, in case you don't know this, I am clicking and holding the mouse and pulling it out so I get a curve, okay? And I'll get another curve. Now, I could kill this handle. And that is, if you notice, if I, if I needed to go straight this way, it won't go straight that way. Um, but if I kill the handle, come back over here, and it actually deletes one of those handles, you saw what just happened there, then I have a little greater control here. Now, what is going on here? Yeah, I have blue in here. It's, it's a dark blue. I'm going to actually fill this with black. But the other thing, too, is when you're tracing out your text, it, whatever symbol you choose to trace out, you may find it a little hard after, after a while to be tracing around because you're going to lose some information. I'm just going to go around here and show you what I'm talking about, okay? So let's keep tracing. I'm going back each time, and you can see that the pen tool changes to that symbol. with the, It's got an arrow there, and then we just kind of keep moving along, and we want to curve it a little bit more, pull it out, come back, kill the second handle, we're going to come here. This will be straight line. We're going to make this a curved line right here. Okay. Now, this is a little bumpy, but if I wanted to, I'm going to undo what I just did. And let's just make this curve because you can always clean up things. Okay. So I'm going to just clean that up just a little bit. And the purpose for this exercise is, is we're going to be making a logo later on. Uh, that's for, going to be for our first project. And I thought this would be a kind of a just a good exercise to familiarize everybody with the pen tool in case you haven't used it in a while. I know some of you guys used it last, well, you used it this past week if you're working in, in my other class here. So anyway, notice what happens is as we go around here, we start to lose 
our template. Okay? And it gets to be to the point where it's almost impossible to see what's going on. Well, that's because you know, most of the time when you use a template, you want to be working in what's called outline mode. And you can go to outline by going to view and outline. Okay? Now we see our vector path. Or you could do command Y, of course. That was a keyboard shortcut. Command Y goes back and forth. Or as another way I like to do it is I like to click on the eye on my layer, but holding down the command key. Because if we don't hold down the command key, I'll turn the layer off, okay? So, so see that? It makes that eye hollow. Click on it again, and you can see that the eye, the, you know, you see the circle inside there, and then, and then you click on it again, and it goes back to outline mode. So we're going to work in outline mode from here on out so we can see what's going on here. And also, I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to, I just grab my zoom tool. Um, Z is a keyboard shortcut. If I want to perfect something, I can come in here with my direct selection tool. I use the keyboard shortcut A. Okay. And then we're just going to... Now, since I've used these to, this zoom tool, if I start up here, notice what happens. I am no longer connected with the path, if you notice. there, The rest of the points are not, co you don't see the rest of the anchor points. So if you ever have to use the zoom tool or a tool that will deselect your, your, your path that you've been drawing, you want to go back with the pen tool and click on the last point that you had made. And so you'll get a slash right there, and then it's on it, and now it's going to continue around, okay? And so we're just going to come continue around here. I do. I have my hand on the keyboard now. One of the things that's going on here for me, and you may be seeing this in this video, is it's a little hard to see sometimes. That blue is not a bad blue. We could also well. One thing is, I'm saying the blue. I I meant that's the color of the layer. We'll cover that in just a second. Uh, but I think I'm going to dim this image just a little bit more. We'll go down to 30 and see if that helps us right there. Okay, and then I'm going to go back up to my layer. And then, yeah, that makes it a little easier to see here. Another thing I was going to say is, and this is why I was saying that blue, was if I double-click the actual layer I'm drawing on, there's a color for each layer. Now, I covered this last term, but in case you don't know, we can change our color so it makes it easier to see the vector path, okay? And it doesn't change the color if we go to Command Y, it doesn't change the color of the object we're drawing. It just changes the color of the anchor points and the path. Okay, and sometimes it's it's important to change that so you can see things better. Okay, now I'm just about to close this off here. There we go. All right, I was going to try to make a curve there. I'm going to go back here for just a second. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve it here, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm not going to kill that second handle because I want this to kind of curve in here nicely, okay? There we go. Now let's zoom. I'm not going to zoom in, but I'm going to actually see. Yeah, okay. I, I just want to make sure that that looks decent there. And I didn't create a second path or, or something that kind of makes an odd shape here. And I'm just perfecting this path here. And let's go back to out preview mode. Okay, we'll hold down the command key, click on the eye, and we can see what the path looks like, okay? Now, let's go ahead and create this this object right up here, this shape, okay? So let's go let's go back to outline mode and we're going to do our pen tool. Click around here. Click around here. And I'm just pulling, and now I'm going to kill the second handle on this one. Sometimes I don't always kill the second handle. It just depends upon what the curve is, is making. And now let's go back to preview mode, and this is what I've created. Okay? And if we want to turn off our template, you can see. Now what we've got to do is we've got to go and, con and make these white areas. And I just, okay. And what I'm going to do is we'll just trace out here. We'll make this first one. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pull out the handle here. And then I'm going to come back around here. Notice, see, I, I haven't clicked anything yet. But notice you see the curvature, and I can make that curvature 
you know, I don't have to delete that second handle all the time, okay? Now, what I might want to do is I'm going to click on the A key and maybe bring this down a little bit so that looks a little bit nicer. Um, maybe bring that down. And I'm just using, the, and I say the A key, this is the direct selection tool. A is the keyboard shortcut for it, okay? Now, let's go back. After we make this shape, it's important to go back to uh, preview mode. And so I'm clicking on the I, command key, clicking on the eye of the layer. And the reason why is because if I went and drew out everything and just kept tracing out things, we wouldn't see everything. Because the whatever the last color I used, which was black, this becomes. Okay, so I'm going to make this white here. All right. And then we're going to go back here. And I'm going to go around here and trace out this other shape. Now, it's always a good idea each time you trace out a shape and you're in outline mode that once you get through that you go back to preview mode to see what the color of that shape is. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go back, kill that handle. I was trying to get away with something there. Sometimes you've got to experiment. I've always got my hand on the keyboard so I can do Command Z. So as soon as I make a mistake that doesn't look right, I can automatically do that. Okay. And it just makes my job a lot easier. I will do this and that. And then once we get that shape done, we will go back to the I here and click on the Command key. And we can see, okay, so that made a white shape. So we just got to make one more shape here. Oh. One thing happened here. This did not close. And it's always important to close your path. So I'm going to go back here for just a second here. Undo, undo. Okay. All right. So see that circle there? That circle that appears? That circle indicates I'm going to close my path. And one of the reasons why you want to close all your paths that, ha that are making complete shapes is because if they're open and you're working on another path, like doing another drawing, you may accidentally hook up on that path that you didn't mean to. That's why it's always good to kind of close them if possible. Now, if there's just, we're going to be working with a, you know, with a path with an open, that's an open path with just a stroke for one of these little exercises here. And sometimes if you just, you know, some, if you're making a shape, you want to make it a closed path. But if you're making a, a path with a stroke and that stroke is not closed, then you don't have to close. Okay. So let's go back here. All right. So, now, what we've got going on here, by the way, and I'm, I'm really finished, but I'm going to do one more thing, and that is I'm going to take all these things and move them for a second, and I want to show you something, and that is if you notice something, we can't, we can't see through this white. It didn't punch a hole, okay? We want to punch a hole in this shape, and it's so easy to do, and there's a couple ways to do it, okay? So what I want to do is I want to select this shape here, and I, I just ran my selection tool over all of them, so I've gotten all four shapes here. And one way to do this would be, uh, I, I think the really easiest way to do it would be would be to use Shift M, which brings up our Shape Builder tool, okay? And our Shape Builder tool is over here on our toolbar, okay? Shift M. And so if we do Shift M and hold down the Alt key, see? Boom, boom. Now, let's drag this shape. Now, what it's done here is, and we can group this too, is you'll see here, see, it actually punches a hole in there, okay? And that's something you want to do here with this exercise. You want to actually punch a hole in it. One other way we could do it, and we'll see how this works here, okay, is, yes, we select all the shapes again, and we can try to use, this is minus front. This is our Pathfinder, okay? And our Pathfinder palette, if we do minus front, and let's group all these again and we'll just drag it so that you can see and see it that was a way to do that okay so you got two methods there you could do shape builder tool and hold down the alt key and click on the shapes you need to to delete and it will punch a hole through there or you can use your pathfinder tool and so that's the that will be the end of this tutorial for this little exercise